Fortnite just dropped the last update before season two and the Greek mythology leaks are crazy. There's a whole new festival, Lego's biggest update yet, but most importantly, the mini event in Battle Royale. Next season is now confirmed to be releasing around March 9th and as the battle pass timer slowly ticks down, the teasers are speeding up. A mini event is gonna start happening with a giant mosaic for us to piece together, slowly unveiling an ancient mural. Every day we'll get a little piece of the puzzle to complete and once it's done, two things will happen. First, we'll get a free loading screen with teasers, but even better, better, we all get a free back bling. That's not all, because during this time, we could even expect to see epic teasing the return of weather. Season 2 might finally bring the forgotten feature back, with these elemental gods cooking up lightning storms and tornadoes all around the island. There's also mentions of vortexes and lava, so get ready, because that is just where we're getting started. Maybe you're still not convinced enough, but let me tell you, when this giant god appears on the map any day, you'll want to hear what I have to say. This massive hand could either be a titan, which would make sense, or it could be Hephaestus based on his leaked survey skin. It looks like it's gonna burst out of the ground carrying some kind of mysterious chest before opening to reveal the Pandora's box. This is gonna be the driving factor of causing chaos on the island, unleashing myths and monsters throughout season two. One of them is already here and that's Odyssey. You can find her roaming around ruined reels offering a grapple blade and shields, but pay attention to her dialogue. She secretly gives us a first look at the storyline for season two, telling us ancient powers is growing on the island and that the mosaic is the key to what is coming. It bears a warning. There's a lot more you could find depending on on which skin from the battle pass you're wearing. So after this video, hop in because there are probably more secrets you can uncover. Little pro tip, you could actually wear the skin before it's released, but it's only if you have something from all the way back in chapter two. I've said this for a while, but Mystique still stands as the most pay to win skin with her ability to transform. Thanks to this, you could try out the next battle pass skin before anyone simply by taking out Odyssey, but don't expect her to look like this in a couple weeks. Thanks to the surveys, we also know she's getting more styles to upgrade her armor to become Athena. And that isn't the only battle Battle Pass outfit we know of. I don't know why Epic has these surveys because they keep spoiling future content and that's exactly what happened with the Cerberus skin. You could spot us three heads in the middle of the ancient mosaic, which matches up perfectly with this outfit from a while ago. He is currently the highest rated concept and also my personal favorite, so expect that release soon alongside five new bosses. We now know that Zeus is one of them, making him the first confirmed boss of the season. He'll be codenamed Aiga, which is Greek for goat, and be able to summon down lightning from the sky. It makes sense with the lightning storms we talked about earlier, but he'll also be joined by four other bosses around the island. Many leakers are speculating Poseidon, Athena, Ares, and Hera will join him, and if that's the case, mythic Greek powers would be incredible. It makes sense for each god to have their own mythic, similar to how each Marvel superhero had their own powers as items in game. If so, let me know in the comments who you'll be repping. Me personally, Zeus. From first glance, the season is going to be awesome, and that seems even more true looking at the rest of the battle pass. The other survey skins perfectly fit the theme, with 15 concepts potentially dropping in the next couple months. Some examples include Medusa, who turns people into stone, Hermes, who probably have a jump mythic, but come on, the Minotaur is gonna carry. It's likely most of these are all planned to release soon, which makes our next teaser even more exciting. The OG Greek King Midas is also getting some love. After all, the whole story originates from the curse of the Golden Touch. We've already had leaks of him presenting new LTMs and players believing he's behind the society. So a Greek mythology time is the perfect opportunity for Epic to reboot him back into the storyline. To really lock this in, Epic is dropping a Midas themed controller, so either they've teased him for months and will disappear pulling that classic bait and switch, or years later, he is making a return. Another thing people are holding out hope for is the brand new open world mode that is still currently in development. At one point, it seemed entirely scrapped and changed to Lego, but leakers have revealed that Epic is still working on it with different biomes, dynamic POIs, and even tameable wildlife, plus NPCs. It's codenamed Arnold, so it's not the art we saw a while back. However, this one is rated 12. Basically, don't expect it to be a lot more mature than Lego. Now, I have been asked constantly why we haven't released a Chapter 5 storyline video, and that's because, well, there's really not much to talk about. The main story arc going on right now is the society capturing Peely, and thanks to an upcoming loading screen, it is finally coming to an end. Take a look at Joan saving Peely from the society. We don't know for sure how to get it just yet, but secret quests for the posters are now fixed, so we can complete them. Make sure to go on the hunt before the end of the season, or else you might miss out on this exclusive reward. The other side of the lore this season is Valyria's search for Pandora's box, leading her across the lake. She's now watching over Ruin Reels, right where everything is going to go down for season two. If it's Pandora's box she's after, then she's in the right place because just a hundred meters away, the hand is going to burst out of the ground carrying it. This is days away from happening, so all I'm saying is my drop spot has officially changed. And that's not the only small map change to take note of this update, because the plane wreck that's been sliding down Grand Glacier all season has finally reached the edge. It has now completely fallen 
off Zenith Wall, crashing into the water, so maybe that's how another Greek god will emerge from the ice. Who knows? And apparently, skins are also gonna come down from space. The next crew skin has been found, and it's none other than Cat. Thanks to Lynx's quest earlier this season, we now know it's Kit's twin sister, which basically means together they're Kit Cat. You'll be able to unlock her from March 1st, and just like the other packs, unlock more styles for each month you subscribe. If you prefer picking up skins from the shop, then prepare your wallet for these guys. We have got Rufus, Selena Scorch, and PJ, which will all be dropping before the season ends. There's also a first look at the packs for season two, featuring Clara as a starter pack and Dr. Vinderbot for Save the World. And if you still can't get enough of TMNT, you'll soon be able to grab the Lil Turtle Van emote, which is taken right from the show. Now, perhaps the biggest part of this update is season two of Fortnite Festival. Epic made the impossible happen, getting Lady Gaga to headline the event, and they have packed her set with secrets. Not only is the item shop set inspired by her Chromatica era, but she is also the very first icon artist to get a Lego style. I mean, come on, she's just adorable. You probably saw her announcement of the skin where she continued the joke from five years ago, accidentally spelling it as Fortnite. And now Epic has joined in. Right at the start of the blog, you can spot the spelling error once again. A great little reference. Even fans of Ariana Grande are happy with this new season because it means she has finally got a dance in the game. We've had a whole concert, skin set, and even a Halloween remix, but not once did they add her songs as an emote. But now, thanks to Gaga, you could finally perform Rain On Me, a song by both of them. If you're playing it as a jam track instead, you'll probably notice that something's different about the main stage. It has been completely reskinned for season two, featuring giant horns, spikes, and a new color scheme. Festival isn't the only mode with new colors content though. Lego Fortnite has received a massive update adding the ability to fish. Yes, you can now craft the fishing rod in four rarities, giving you the chance to catch loads of fish in each of the different biomes. There's 15 new fish in total, ranging from simple small fries all the way to slurp, spicy, and even thermal floppers. If that wasn't enough, they've also added the bait bucket, a new item to attract fish anywhere, you know, just in case you need help filling out your collection. So now you might be wondering what to do with all these fish you've caught. Well, don't worry, I got you covered. By using the new food processor, you can make fish fillet which are okay for healing, but there's a trick you need to know. If you turn them into sushi instead, they instantly give you way more health. I'd highly recommend it. If you're looking for even more advantages in game, then you gotta start collecting sand. By using it at the metal smelter, you can make glass, and this can be used to craft a long-awaited spyglass. That's right, it's finally out, and this thing has some serious zoom distance. That's not even the best item you can make. The compass is also dropped, allowing you to see directions on your HUD, something fans have been asking for since day one. Thank you, Epic. Another thing players have been begging for is UEFN support in LEGO. Epic has officially confirmed that people will soon be able to monetize and publish experiences in the mode, so expect a lot of your favorite games to have a LEGO version in the next few months. This update has brought us Season 2 leaks, a new festival pass, a giant LEGO update, and somehow Epic is still not done. Rocket Racing got a brand new speedrunning mode, which is basically mini versions of current maps that you could try to get your best speed on. Every time you beat your record, you'll race against your own ghost car, and there's even leaderboards, so you can compete against your friends. Alongside these time trials, we're also expecting five more maps. We don't have a look at them yet, but Aqueduct, Phoenix, and Infinity definitely sound crazy. So if you're going to be playing these, you might as well do it in style with the new Dystro car. This is one of the best vehicles in Rocket League, so I'll be grabbing it using code T5G. Hey, maybe it's not your style, and if that's the case, then save your V-Bucks for the other upcoming cars. Not only are we getting the Battle Bus soon, but leaks have revealed the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters, a DeLorean, and even the Batmobile. Yeah, I've been waiting since chapter one for this. That's every secret in the new update. It's been Tommy, keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.